Hey, once again, it's your boy Black Tracks back to represent a question that was brought to me asking about um, about how to separate the redrum and give each redrum its own channel in the SSL mixer. It's a very simple process, and I'm going to go through this with you with the beat that I have set up. Um, cool little beat, just something I got that I was working on. Let y'all hear a little bit of it. Just a simple little beat. Just something I program, nothing major. Just something to give you a feel of what I'm getting ready to do. So let's go ahead and kind of just drop that for a minute. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna break some things down to you about the 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 redrum, not the redrum, but it's the SSL mixer versus using the 14-2 mixer and reason. Uh, we're gonna toggle to the back. Now, of course, in the back here is similar to Reason if you use Reason. This is a very familiar hardware device. When you're looking at this master section, this is the master section of the SSL console. This is where it has for the mastering, um, return, effects, sends, things like that. Now, what I want to focus on is how to get each channel of the redrum on its own channel in the SSL mixer. When you set up the SSL mixer what happens and let me go to that page real quick this is what the master channel looks like we have no master we have no other channels except that read drum channel and when you make an instrument it's gonna be on its own instrument channel so this one is of course read drum one and it's gonna have all the effects sends, EQs filters dynamics all that stuff over on this side, this of course is the master compressor, the returns and everything else if you're going to be doing mastering for the master channel. But um, what we want to focus on, let me get back to that page. <laughs> I love this. There we go. We're going to get back to that page. As you see, I've turned the rack around. Now, when you create uh, a mix channel, or instrument channel it becomes one track in the mixer so your mixer channel and your channel in the SSL mixer when you see it from the mixer page which is F5 F6 is to look at your rack and F7 is to look at your sequencer so we're in F6 right now looking at the toggle to reverse of the the redrum and right now you see that the stereo output is going into the left and right input of a mix channel. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this right here because I don't want to get the stereo effect coming out of the redrum. I want each one of these to be on their own channels. And if you notice, there's 10 outputs. So actually it's 20. If you think about left and right, it's 20, but it's... 10 stereo outputs now right now I'm just gonna focus on having each one of these 10 on their own channels some people like to run stereo mixes of the channels if you like to do that that's fine but right now we're just gonna worry about a stereo one channel instead of a stereo left and right hard pan so what we'll do is since we already have a mixer channel in here instead of creating another mixer channel all we're going to do is just copy the device duplicate and we're going to duplicate it quite a few times so that way we'll have you know up to 10 of these which will give us a, a nice channel which will give us a nice set up for a mix you know in the reason I mean that reason in the record reason mixer it'll give us exactly what we need to have total control of our sound and that's what most people want anyways just want to have control so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the left I'm gonna just take the the output and I'm just holding down and moving the cable up to the first input from the first channel 
into the left and right channel. What it's going to do is automatically going to put left and right of the first green drum channel. Now this is the same concept that used to work in the 1402 mixer. And you can just keep doing this all the way down. And if you notice, each time I put one in into the input, it changes the read drum. But we're going to change that later. But we're not going to do it on this board. I'm going to do it in the mixer channel so you can see it as an SSL channel itself. And if you saw the, the thing that I did on um, subgroups, you see that this is pretty much the same concept as doing the subgroups. Make sure I've got all these. Make sure before I screw this up. One thing I like to do mainly, so I can see this a little bit better, is I like to remove. Uh, what I do with that remove cable button? I don't like to watch all these cables as I'm moving them around because it gets kind of cluttered after a while. There we go. So now we have the 10 inputs going to 10 of these mixer channels, which I'm going to toggle this around. Let's toggle it. Toggle this around. I kind of make these smaller. Now the cool thing about these is if you want to put insert effects or anything in these, this is where you would do it at because you can, you know, say show insert effect or whatever. And you can insert, you know, if you want to add a parametric EQ, let's say to to one of the channels um, let's just say we want to add a, a M class I mean if you're going to use this to mix with you might as well use the best EQs best compressors use the best ones in the game might as well use the mastering class for everything but um, we're going to go ahead and delete that out of there because that's not what we're really worried about but anyway that's, if you want to insert certain things on your tracks you can do that so now we have a redrum that's hooked directly in. Now we're going to go F5. And now we have our redrum on its own channels. So now we can handle panning. Now we got that fantastic EQ section. We got the best thing in here, which is the... This is a quick little tip I want to give. If anybody wants to know, this right here, these... Low pass filters and high pass filters are the best thing in the whole mixer, I would say to me, because this allows you to filter out any frequencies that are too high or any frequencies that are too low. And if you're trying to do things where you're mixing 808 bases and sub bases together and you want them to fit right in the mix, you can go ahead and filter out all the sub lows of the 808 so it would fit in a certain part of the frequency. You could do the same thing by filtering out certain frequencies for the sub. That way they both can fit in the mix. It's kind of the trick that Little John and the guys who do crunk have been doing for years. They use these filters, get that filter exactly where they want it, lay it in the mix, and then EQ from there. So that's one of the, you know, quick little tip if anybody, you know, I can go over that in another tutorial another day, but this is just one of those things that filters are your best friend. So... To see at least, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of play this track. Oh, uh, where we, where we, where we, where I do, what I do, what I do. I'm gonna go back to run because I didn't set it up. To run. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the track up. And now you see the track is on its own channels. I can pan some of my kicks different ways and snares and different things. Solo, you know. Just 
just simple thing like this. All that control, which is what somebody really wanted. And the main reason why they asked me all these questions. They wanted to see what could you do. You know, so we have all this done. And there it is. Separated redrum in the SSL mixer. I hope this helped.